everyone and welcome back to my channel so today exciting um it's a monday and i went thrifting i went to texas thrift the one over in McAllen. there are two locations that i usually go to that one and the one closer to my house now but i was in that neck of the woods waiting for me to get groomed so i had some time so anyway um i spent it was nice i had like a good hour or so to take my time people often don't find success thrifting because it honestly takes a lot of patience like you have to kind of you know like look through like everything you know it's not like your department store where things are like more clearly displayed and they're like multiple like you know everything is different you have to look at everything if you want to find success so i got the opportunity to do that and the store is really big so that was nice i made my way through the women's department the men's department as well because i was looking for like t-shirts to wear and part of the little boys because i also like can fit into their t-shirts so anyway that's exciting so all in all i got like 14 new items new to me and spent about 80 dollars so that it's a very successful trip if you ask me so today we're gonna do a little try on to just see how everything went um the dressing rooms are still closed and that's fine um i've gotten kind of better like i mean before the pandemic i would try things on but now i guess for the last year or so or last couple of months because i haven't drifted a lot like last year um I, I i have a better idea of now like what's going to work for me so i probably um do take less than i would because i would just like take a lot of clothes into the dressing room anything that caught my eye and a lot of times it didn't work but now i have to kind of be more selective like realistically like is this going to look good on me so there's that so hopefully everything i bought today does work out so we're just gonna get started um i only got tops and dresses um i looked through the skirts and pants but um didn't really need anything there so yeah let's get started okay so we're going in no particular order um and this is one of the like more casual i guess items of course it's just a t-shirt um i found this in the men's section and i thought it was cute um i guess it's like a men's small um so it's just this like kind of light blue golf t-shirt um i do have a lot of t-shirts that i wear around the house that are more like raggedy or that i just wouldn't wear out but i feel like i was looking for t-shirts that i would wear out and this is one of them so you know if you're just like running a quick errand i would wear this to go to target with some cute jeans um something casual like that sandals so yeah here's the first look i wear a lot of blue and um, i like his color i have a lot of navy but i don't have a lot of like white blue so this is kind of like the color of my um, first school, my elementary school, which closed down unfortunately, but yeah, so this was a good little find and it's a t-shirt, so honestly it was probably like $3 or something, so moving on. Okay, next I have this cute little um, like light pink um, spaghetti strap tank, <coughs> excuse me. Um, this is actually the first thing I pulled off the racks. This caught my attention. Um, pink is the, like, this is my favorite color. I honestly don't wear a lot of pink, but it's a color I do like. And I just thought this was super cute. Um, the brand is Cotton On. Um, I don't know if they have another mall, but um, I've shopped there in person at other malls at least. So yeah, it, um, it was a good find. I don't know how much I paid for it, but it's like in basically new condition. So that's nice. Um, I don't really have a lot of good strapless bras, so I would probably wear this with like a sweater or I was thinking it'd be cute also with like a t-shirt underneath or something. So yeah, here's the second purchase. Also, I feel like there's that, um, I don't know, iconic movie with I think Lisa Kudrow, um, like Ron, Rami and Marley or something like that. Rami and something, go to college or something like that. And I feel like this is kind of giving me those vibes like so I could wear that little like butterfly clip and do like a theme party if anything but yeah i quite like this so another good purchase okay and next is this also really cute blouse um kind of with this like ruffle detail giving me shakespearean vibes maybe captain of the caribbean either as well uh -huh. so yeah it has this bow tie which is a very gossip girl like uniform high school uniform days and i don't really care for it i'm gonna cut it off so I think it's cute without it, but yeah, this is like definitely Gossip Girl like uniform vibes. So this is how it would be without. Um, it did kind of seem sheer when I was like looking at it, but it's not too bad. Um, I am wearing a black bra, which I wouldn't. Um, with like white 
um, nude is like the best color to wear. So yeah, I feel like I wouldn't really even need an undershirt if I just wore like a nude bra. And yeah, so this is really cute. And it's in very good condition. I like the buttons, they're like kind of shiny, silvery. Very, very nice, billowy. Tuck it in, look very cute, very professional. Uh, spit on your classic everyday white button down. So yeah, this is pretty cute as well. The brand, um, it's not really like anything recognizable, I guess. Something from a department store, so yeah. Okay, and then we have another kind of dressy blouse. This one is super cute as well. Um, I do a lot of long sleeves. I do a long sleeve or no sleeveless. I don't have a lot of short sleeve to be honest. I did buy one um, short sleeve item, well aside from the t-shirt. So anyway, um, it's black with like little white polka dots. It may be kind of hard to see from afar. Let me step closer. So this is that. Um, I almost didn't buy it because it was eight dollars and it like was didn't have any special like promotions or discounts. And I get like very cheap when I go to thrift stores. I'm like, if this isn't like five dollars and under i'll leave it but so i did leave it behind but then i changed my mind when i moved to the next rack so anyway i think it's a cute addition um i like how the sleeves are nice and like billowy and then it has this like little ruche detail here kind of cinching it um at the cup or whatever so yeah there it is um the brand i'm not sure i don't think there was anything recognizable either but yeah this is cute comfy Circling back to the casual t-shirts. Um, I got this one, it's basic white tee with this cute little emblem, I guess like a local cheerleading team or something, Eagles. So I found this in the little boy section because I did want to look for t-shirts, but it took me a while to find like the men's t-shirts. Like I didn't see them in like the aisles of racks. So I just went to the little boys because it was right next door. So this is like a XL or double XL, so it's pretty comfortable. Uh, but then I did end up finding the men t-shirts like against the wall. So yeah, I got like a couple from each. So yeah, again, this is cute. I need to iron it, but I would wear this going out, casual look, sunglasses, yeah, something fun, something simple. So there's that. Can be the comfort of a t-shirt. And I do honestly prefer men's t-shirts because I don't like I don't know, in general, I don't like things that are too form-fitting. And I guess a lot of the women's t-shirts like are um, like more cinched at the waist, but for t-shirts especially, I like it to be like, you know, comfortable. So this is a good fit. Not like too oversized, but just right. So there's that. This looks like I'm on a roll. Everything so far is like working out well, I'm liking. So, and then there's this next one, um, which is not really a t-shirt, it's a little, dress here. Um, the pattern may be kind of hard to see. I can, I think it might be bugging a lot a little bit, but it's kind of like this like leopard print, um, black with like white leopard. Um, the brand is White House Black Market. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I was gonna, I wasn't sure if it was White Market Black House. So anyway, got it right. So yeah, it's kind of a little cap sleeve almost. Um, pretty cute. It's kind of long, I guess it was stretched out, but um, I tuck everything in, so I think that'll be cute. Um, this one, you can dress it down, or you can like probably even wear it to work because black and white is just very versatile. So the color, I mean the brand, I guess, as well. But yeah, so there's that. Let me move closer so you can see. Okay, and this is one of the last tops um, before we go to vinyls. So yeah, there's this one, it's cute. Um, I got it in the women's section. Um, it's kind of like a, a dry fit material, um, kind of cropped as you can see, comfortable, breathable, I guess. Um, I just thought this was cute. It's a little, um, I guess like angel baby with like a crown. So I think that's a cute little design. Um, it is from one of those um, brands, I can't think, wrong way, I think. Um, I've, I think they're mostly like an online shop, kind of like your Fashion Nova, um, Misguided, things like that. So yeah, I think this is pretty cute. It's a nice like um, beige color kind of. So yeah, I do like to stick to neutrals for the most part. So I think this is cute with like some high-waisted denim, um, skirt even. So yeah, another fun little find. I would have to probably wear a new bra too because I think the black is showing up a lot. Okay, now we're on to the dresses. Um, this is the first one I'm feeling iffy about. This is um, by 
Ky Kylie and Kendall or Kendall and Kylie. I know they had a prep brand with PacSun. I'm not sure if they had other brands or this is that. So yeah, um, it's this like almost knee length, like thin striped. Um, they're kind of, it's like a, or is it gray? Yeah, like gray and off white. Um, it's okay, it looked cute. I was thinking it was gonna be more like a body bodycon thing, um, where it's just kind of like tight and like stretchy, but it's honestly like a little awkward. Um, it gets a little like lumpy here, and I guess it's like tight in the hips and like chest, but this I could like do without. So we'll see if I could work it. Um, I do wear Spanx anytime I wear something like form fitting, so I think that'll help my situation, but not loving it. Um, yeah, but we'll see. If anything, I feel like I could maybe cut it and then just like use this as a top because that would be cute. But yeah, we'll see. It's not like designed the best with all this not really flattering fabric. So anyway, we'll see. Okay, and then next dress um, is this cute um, Vera Wang for Kohl's, um, her line there. Um, I actually found this with the tag still on, so I guess that's always nice. Um, I guess it just didn't work out for everybody. But it is very short. Um, I'm wondering like if it's meant to be a tunic. <laughs> Honestly, I'll, I'll wear it as a dress though. But I would just have to, it's a little sheer, so you know, just wear shorts under. Um, and then it has kind of like a um, drapey like back um, cowl, I, I guess you would say. So that's a fun little detail. So yeah, I feel like this would be cute. Um, could be like a kind of summer transitioning into spring look with like some thigh high boots or over the knee boots. Um, yeah, I think that would be a really cute look, so. Yeah, and it's, you know, very flowy, very comfortable, so. Cute little finds, or even like, going to the beach or something, because it is kind of not too conservative, so anyway. Okay. This next one, I just thought was really pretty and like, ladylike. Like, something you would wear like on Easter Sunday, or going to tea or something. Um, so yeah, it's this pretty like, yellow floral one. Um, I actually have like a, um, maxi dress that's in this pattern. I thrifted it as well. I haven't worn it yet. Um, so maybe one of these days. But yeah, I mean, it is kind of big. Hopefully, I'll see if my mom can take it in a little bit. Um, I think it's like a medium or a size six. Um, and it would be a little bit big, but I just wanted to get it anyway. So I think that could be, you know, fixed. So anyway, it's pretty cute. I like the pattern. It's a nice length, um, a little above the knees. So yeah, so we'll see what we can do with this. But again, like really cute and ladylike, so. Okay, last dress um, is this one um, from Forever 21. I So when I go thrifting, I usually check out like the smalls and mediums, but I think I was like coming to the end of like the racks I was going to look for. So I was like, mm, let's just like look at the large. So I saw this one and it is like um, very like form fitting and clingy but stretchy. So I knew that it would probably fit. So this is a large. Um, and also Forever 21, their sizes, I feel like run kind of small. Like a lot of those fast fashion brands, Forever 21, um, H&M, sometimes Zara. So yeah, so here is it. Um, it's kind of plunging, but it's nothing like a cat, like, you know, safety pin or something. So again, just kind of form fitting. Um, I would, again, like wear things with this. You probably can't see my stomach too much because it's all black. But yeah. Um, it's a good length, I guess, to wear like, uh, honestly, probably like more so clothing. It's not very professional, but um, I wish the waist were like a little bit lower. It's kind of like right under my boobs, but I don't know. I don't love it, but again, like thrifted, I don't, probably paid like five dollars for it. So we'll see. It'd be cute also with like, just like day to day, throwing like a big, like oversized denim jacket. That'd be a cute look. And my Converse, so the sneakers are going wearing a lot, kind of like, casualing it down a little bit, so, because I don't really go to the clubs anymore. <laughs> so yeah, so I think that's a kind of cute look. So I'm just gonna put my flannels over this so I can show it all. So I got two flannels. Um, I found them both in the women's section. So that was nice, but they are like mediums or so. So um, oversized, in the first place, I think they're meant to be oversized as a medium. And in the second place, me sizing up, um, me choosing medium is kind of sizing up, so they're just like especially oversized, which is the look. So it's nice to just throw on like over. Where's the sleeve? What do I do? Oops. Okay. 
yeah, so this flannels are nice to just throw over like, um, you know, tank top, sports bra even, call it a day, go out. So here's this one, um, I would have to, the sleeves are unbuttoned, but you get the idea. So, yeah, I, again, I like, probably wouldn't wear it with this, but I think it's a, you know, nice little flannel addition. So good length, good size. Um, yeah, so there's that black and white versatile. Yes, yeah, is a good addition. Um, it's by Mossimo, so I think that's like a Target brand. So, anywho, looking forward to wearing this. I don't have a lot of flannels right now, so. Okay, okay. And then the other one is also black and white. It's kind of like one that I do have right now that is actually just super oversized. It's like a men's. May have gotten it for my dad or something. It's not sure, honestly. So, honestly, this is kind of the same pattern, but I guess this will be like a little less oversized. Um, yeah. And this one, and this one I think also had the tag on it as well. Um, so I think it's honestly probably from Walmart or Target too, but I don't really recognize the brand. Yeah, so. There we go. Again, a good, a good amount of oversized, not too sloppy, but just right. Um, well, this one is a little bit shorter. Yeah. And then it has these, um, it kind of like goes up here. Um, I'm kind of unsure, I feel like this may even be a pajama top, but whatever, I'll wear it out of the house. So yeah, so again, I'm pretty happy with these flannel finds. And then that's actually it, so. Yeah, so again, we went through about 14 items, give or take. Um, I had another white t-shirt. They're just a plain white t-shirt, but I didn't want to throw in the wash with them because I figured fe fe that it may um, pick up some color, so I just, I'll wash it with like my whites next time. So anyway, that's it. So if you guys um, haven't been thrifting or um, haven't checked it out, haven't given it a try, I do recommend you all do that. Um, or one way to dip your toes in it, um, download like Poshmark or ThreadUp. Um, those are nice too because if you, I, I guess when I go thrifting, I don't really go looking for something because it's gonna be hard to like find something specific. But on like an app or something with the search engine, you could like, if you're looking for like, I don't know, a dress to wear to like a birthday and you want like a red dress or something, then you could look red dress. So it just narrows it down. You could like narrow it by size and all that. So anywho, um, if y'all don't like thrifting stores, do consider thrifting online, eBay even, find good stuff. So yeah, anyway, I just encourage you all to thrift. I do thrift a lot. As I've shown you all in like past videos, like a good, 50% or more probably of my wardrobe is thrifted at this point. So yeah, so anyway, it's just good for the environment, good for your wallet. So I do hope you all give it a try and I hope that this inspires you all to go find some great buys. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you super soon with another video.